again. In this lesson, we will take a look at the Traffic Analytics Report. This report provides you with insights on your competitors' traffic sources based on clickstream data. In a way, SEMrush Traffic Analytics is like looking at your competitors' Google Analytics to see their direct, referral, search, and social traffic. Let us take a closer look at the report. After typing any domain in the search bar, you can see the set of its main user engagement metrics for the last month. Among them, there are three metrics that are worth paying attention to. Pages per visit, average visit duration, and bounce rate. These metrics indicate how visitors interact with their domains. They may also give you a clue about which of your competitors have the most engaging content from the audience's standpoint. Then, you can see monthly trends of estimated numbers of visits, unique visitors, average visit duration, and bounce rate across different devices. Below there is a widget that shows the percentage of desktop and mobile traffic and a list of top subdomains sorted by traffic share. Here is a trend of traffic distribution by source and a map with traffic distribution by country. As you have already noted, this report is all about traffic. Benchmark. For benchmarking purposes, we're going to add four other domains to compare their performance in terms of traffic and user engagement. You can change the graph view by choosing visits, unique visitors, average visit duration, and bounce rate, and by switching between desktop and mobile device type. When comparing visits, you can filter the chosen domains by sources of these visits, all, direct, referral, search, social, or paid. At the bottom of the page, you'll see bar graphs, which show what percentage of traffic to each domain is coming from each country in SEMrush database. You can also consider adding your own domain along with your competitors to decide whether you should put more effort into your SEO to overrank them. To see if your SEO strategy pays off, you need to repeatedly look into traffic analytics and monitor your progress. Keep an eye on the domains that are doing well in terms of pages per visit and visit duration though. See where your competitors are getting traffic from and consider targeting those locations as well. If you're offering your online marketing services to someone, you might want to identify strengths and weaknesses of their website and compare them to their competitors before making your business proposal. If you need to find out a website's top competitors first, use the organic competitors or backlink competitors report from the appropriate analytics section. To generate a comprehensive traffic overview report, you'll just need to click the PDF button. With the generated report, you'll see the areas that need the most improvement. For instance, if their weakest spot is search traffic, then it makes a lot more sense offering an SEO campaign. If you're used to conducting sales pitches to present your strategy to your clients using interactive graphs and figures changing in real time, you'll absolutely find the pitch mode feature useful. Try it once and I promise you'll love it forever. Let's move on to the traffic sources tab. In this report, you'll see a more profound traffic breakdown for a chosen website. It shows you a trend of visits shared by five types of sources, direct, referral, search, social, or paid. With this graph, it will be easy for you to find out which sources are generating the most and the least traffic. Below, you can see three lists of referring sites, search engines. More than 60 of them are available in this report and social networks that are driving traffic from the analyzed website. This will give you more of an idea of which exact traffic sources are better to concentrate on. To sum up, we've learned about the Traffic Analytics Report, which can be described as your competitor's Google Analytics with traffic broken down by different sources. Practice the report by analyzing your competition. Also, don't forget to go to the Read Further section, visit our knowledge base, and our blog to find out more.